So this is the hammer line that was in the piano. And I'm going to go just a little bit above that with the rail down in hammer line position. And I'm going to set each section just a little bit above it on the assumption that it's a little bit low, which may or may not be true, but it's going to be close enough and then we're going to tweak it with our kissing samples of strike. Touching in the middle, a little bit above the hammerline that's there. Now we're going to go up to something that has some relationship to strike, but it isn't accurate. Uh, and what we want is for each of those uh, sample notes to block supporting the WMG dip tool. So the first one was this one here. And we want the hammer to, to go up and block against which it does. With the weight there, I have both hands free, so I can loosen the nut, and I'm going to lift it. See, until it just lets off. I'm, I'm going to call that a rough place, because there's a seesaw effect that takes place. I'm going to put this on the next... Uh, is that the sample? Yep. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to lift it up slowly. Okay, now I'm roughed in. I can, I'm close enough, I believe, to be able to set my stock. Because I want that to be, I want this edge to be right sort of in the middle of the crown, right on the strike. So it'll be easy to read. I'm going to tighten down my stop. Now I can come and go and keep and come back automatically without resetting to the strike. That's smack on the money.